Hi, and welcome along to the Bias Premier League show. We are back here on a Monday. <laughs> Don't forget, show brought to you today by Boohoo Man. All of the stuff we're wearing is from Boohoo Man. You can get an extra 10% off when you use the code AFTV10 or scan the QR code on the screen. They've got some great stuff right now for the spring. So make sure you check it out. Big up to Boohoo Man. Yeah, Big up. Every single time. Every time. White Yard is in the building. Yep. Ty's in the building. Um, we were at the game yes. at the weekend. Ty yes. down there in Brighton. Lovely. And yes. what an unbelievable performance Again. by Arsenal. Yep. A tricky game. Um, a friend of mine who me and his son play, my son and his son play together. He's a okay. massive Liverpool fan. Right. He said, Robbie, this is the one. This is the one when Arsenal slip up. <laughs> says, you seen their record? Yeah, he exactly. Goes, they haven't lost at home. Since August. It's a fair enough. This is it, Robbie. Yep. Right there. And we've got to be honest, and right? Yep. You're in the game and it's a lot of anxiety, you know what I mean? Anxiety and anxiety. Right? You have a bit of anxiety, especially the first sort of 10, 15 minutes. I thought Brighton started well. They yeah. did. But then after that, and even in that first 10, 15 minutes when they started well, we could have scored two goals. Yep. But then after that, Arsenal were absolutely outstanding on the day. Controlled yes. the game, scored goals. Clean sheet. It was another one of those complete away performances. How many of those have we seen this season? Arsenal on the road this season have been unreal. Going to difficult places like Brighton away, like West Ham away, right? Like Manchester City and keeping clean sheets. Yes, yes. And again, another very, very good Bournemouth. performance, Yardi. Deserved the win yep. thoroughly. Yeah, man, definitely. Um, I was <laughs> yeah. in Manchester watching the game. I went to my, I had a show in Manchester on the weekend. Mm. Um, big up Sean from Boohoo, man. He came to the show as well. So oh, big, big up Sean. Came out. Uh, well done to Sean. Oh, hey, we're the only one. Just kidding. <laughs> no, no. I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, Tori, <laughs> hey, you got jokes, right? He has, he has got jokes. The funniest thing, he's got jokes now, but when he's at the games, he has no jokes. No, yeah? He's, 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 get, he's getting, about no, you're getting, you're getting all bad up by everybody. I heard, up by him. I heard when he was in Brighton, he had a fight with a seagull. The <laughs> seagull was just flying. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? What are you looking at? And I'm like, yo, the bird's just flying I'm past, just, man. I'm just kidding. Big up to Stuart, I'm just kidding. But yeah, man, I, I was actually up there watching the game, and um, mm. it, it was funny being there watching it because I actually went into a room. Like, they, in, where I was staying, they had um, loads of cats. They had TVs playing matches, all the matches. Yeah. And there was a lot of City fans in there, funny enough. Not Man Manchester. For some reason, there's not a lot of Man United fans in Manchester. But yeah, so I was watching and, and it's like you could hear the groans every time Arsenal scored a goal or something. <laughs> oh, and I'm just sitting there like, yeah, yeah man. <laughs> I laughed at them. <laughs> but it was good. It was it was it was nice to watch. Um I weren't nervous. I'll be honest, I wasn't nervous because no, I was I was talking about this before. As a football fan, right? You watch your team different to how other people watch your team. 100 percent When you're watching a match where it's not your team, you're kind of just watching the ball where the ball goes, goal score, the result. That's it. When you're watching your own team, you watch players' movements off yeah. the ball. We've been watching our team for a long time. And this team, Absolutely. honestly, is playing the best. It is playing the best football in the Premier League. We are the best team in the Premier League. It, it shows stats don't lie, nope. right? So I don't see who we should actually fear Absolutely. in this league well, right now. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, I know, yeah, Brian, I know, Br no, but listen, Robbie, I know, I know you're going to say, but, but, but I'm not saying things cannot go wrong because we, they can go wrong. And all it takes is, is a team to have a great defense against us one day, nick a late goal, and then that's the yeah. result. But the way this team's been playing, honestly, is phenomenal. We, uh, we, is. I, I, I realize certain things. I, mean, I don't even want to talk too much about the game like that, but I do, but not that much because I also like the fact that this season, how people are starting to realize. Mm -hmm. Because remember last season, right? It was like, oh, Elephant at the tree, you know it's gonna happen, they're gonna fall off. Yeah. Uh, they won't be there next season. Yeah. Oh, remember that's what they were saying. Mm. But yeah. guess what? We're not hearing those talks this season because no. people are seeing Arsenal and realizing this is a re the real deal. This yeah. team right here is the real deal. And going away to Brighton, putting three past them, so we should. So we should, because this is what this team is capable of, right? We shouldn't be fearing these teams. People, yeah, well, listen, no, 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 people been yeah, laughing no, hold on, at hold us. On. It's, not, it's not a fear. I don't think Arsenal, that's the one thing, they don't fear, but exactly. it's the Premier League. Yeah, and if but you're up still. against a team like Brighton or a good side, right, who haven't lost the game at home since August, August I didn't even know that, that is a difficult game. When it you're going difficult. there, you know, and the way they started, they started very well. Mm. They started very well, they were on the front foot. 
So it was always going to be a difficult game, but like you said, Arsenal at the moment, they are the real deal. They exactly. are, really are. At the moment, yeah, I mean, you've got three unbelievable teams mm. going for that title that on any given year, if they didn't have the other two going of for course. it, would be out of sight, you know what I mean? So, um, but it's so difficult because we're playing right now in a time that you cannot afford to even slip up one point. No, it's our finals, um, our finals. But it was a great win, another three points goal difference. And Ty, you was at the game. Fortunately, um, the, yeah. the performance was outstanding by the players, wasn't it? Um, you saw at the end when Gabriel was <laughs> celebrating, when he got that block in yeah. to keep a free nil up, to keep a clean sheet. I mean, that just summed up the spirit that's in the Arsenal camp, didn't it? Well, I can't stop first without saying hearts you can wait hold on sorry to you can I can't I'm you can hearts thoughts and prayers to, to the family of Joe Kinnear okay yeah that was sad Joe Kinnear okay. man so Wimbledon man okay. okay. yeah you can you, you no know. I get it now mm. so you know yeah but absolutely, absolutely Robbie I mean I this is what Yardi's saying is what I think listen what it is with this team is that listen Robbie we hear what you're saying we hear what you're saying nobody's saying that we, you, we hear what you're saying but what it is is that this team now is we've got our feet on the ground. We're not getting carried away. We're not complacent. We're very humble and we're down to earth. Yeah. We're not taking anything from quiet. That's Ooh. why we're doing what we're doing. Hold on, wait, what, what's wrong with you? What do you mean? Why are you going like this? Because like, <laughs> <'cause> my... <laughs> you see, you always going like this. I thought it was because of what I said. I know you got a bad thumb, but why are you holding it for? I'm holding it. Yeah, but why are you tr trying to, I mean, you got a bad thumb, you got a bad thumb. That's yeah, bad but thumb. you know, it's all right. Injury from fighting with the seagull on the weekend. <laughs> fight with him. <laughs> But, you, but but yeah, this team, this team was it's, was, un it's unbelievable. Was Bobby. Yeah. And you say about an anxiety. Listen, I don't have no an anxiety, apprehension, but noise because I'm seeing what this team is doing. And you said that what you said. <laughs> He's still doing it again. This is brilliant. <laughs> what you said, <laughs> what you said about that, Robbie? I didn't realize that until after the game. That <laughs> look, I'm still moving. That um, <laughs> like like I'm keep I'm I'm keeping them I'm keeping on moving like so so so. What it is, I didn't know that they beat unbeaten in August. Like, yeah, no, I didn't know that either. Side, but man. you said that, Robbie. And even though they started, but we could have had about three. I didn't, I didn't know that. Before that. half time. Yeah, no, we should have had a couple, um, you know, before Because Kai could have had a penalty, yeah. apparently. But I would say commiserations to Danny, Danny Welbeck, and to Tyreek. But, but, that, but I'm saying, it's not, it's not that um, a delusion thing or an uh, overconfidence thing when I'm it's saying that stats. we shouldn't fear. It's because... No, he, he this team, how they, the, the group of players that are there and how they are playing. It's you, unbelievable. We have the best defense record. And we, the best we attack. We have the best defense in the league. The, and the best attack. And the best, and the best attack. attack. You understand? And Both. the best that's what I'm saying. So, when you, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. When you look at what we have. Exactly. It's not we good. shouldn't... Team should fear us coming mm. here and the players should ha not go into these games overconfident. No, they're not. They, they should go in there confident enough to know Absolutely. that we have the capability of doing it because then that will translate into their team. I think what we've seen over years before is when... They've been getting a good run and then eventually they, they're kind of like, oh, it's a tricky game this weekend. Yeah. And we fans think that, the players think that as well. Oh, it's a bit tricky. They haven't lost since August. Then they go on yeah, the field and there'll be players having that bit of, uh, mm. do we go at it? Do we sit back? You understand? If you go with full confidence, you go for it. Yeah, and you, know what, you know what I want to focus in on, mm. right? I want to focus in on the signings <laughs> that we made this summer. Yeah. Well, right? well all very three good. of these, these guys have been phenomenal. Phenomenal. Right? Um, Declan Rice. Mm -hmm. and by the way, big up Declan Rice. I met him big on Saturday Declan. after the game and he was such a nice guy. Oh, what did he say? You know what I mean? He said, keep up the good work. He said, oh, you know Declan. I mean? he said, big up Declan Rice, man. It was a really nice I'm guy. I'm a big Declan. Made all time, your apology, mate. Made man, time man for says, all the... I look at Rice pudding. <laughs> <Soft>. <laughs> he made time for all of the guys as well. You <laughs> know right. what I mean? He was really, oh. really sound guy, man. So you never man. get so, it. You miss all. So, so I was on the, on the, on the coach home, man. on the coach back. But big up to Declan Rice. But what a sign he's been. Another great performance by him. Yes. Kai Havertz. Oh. Kai Havertz has been unbelievable. <laughs> right now, I would argue one of Arsenal's most important players. Absolutely. Yeah. Starts every game in that position up yep. front, which he's made his own. And his work rate is phenomenal. And on Saturday, um, in my player ratings, I, I, I didn't make him man of the match. I made Rice man of the yeah. match. But yeah. when I really look back and I think, Goal and assist. I think he really he should have got man of the match because he I, I didn't realise that it was his ball at for the Leo. time. You know when you're at the game, you know. Yeah, yeah, I didn't, didn't realise that he assisted. No, did I? Yeah, I just yeah, saw yeah, the yeah. ball to Leo. Yeah, goal mad, and assist, ball. and right throughout the Amazing. game, he was, had a great game. Probably David Raya as well. Yes, yes. another one made a great save for him. See, so looks so comfortable. Right, see that right down the middle, right down the middle. From goal, keeping clean sheet after clean. Yeah. Sheet. So the three signings that were made in the summer, those three 
have all been excellent. Absolutely. Yeah. They've all been excellent. You've got to credit the manager. When we he have bought to. in when he bought in Havertz, there was a lot of people saying, What's going on? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Jorginho yeah. set up one of the goals as well. Exactly, look at him. I mean, that goal was made in Chelsea. No, 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 it wasn't made in Chelsea. <laughs> Obviously, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't. It was made in Arsenal. Chelsea, we, we never see that at Chelsea. We didn't see that. <laughs> so it wasn't made at no, Chelsea. As Kalechi said, <laughs> made in Chelsea, delivered at Arsenal. <laughs> yes. You know what I mean? And, it was, it, it, and those guys are doing really, really Amazing. well. And of Amazing. course, Arsenal returned back to the top of the league, yes. courtesy of Manchester United drawing yes. with Liverpool yes. yesterday. Could have been worse for Liverpool. They should Liverpool in that game should have been out of sight. Let's yeah, be real. Yeah. At half time, they missed so many chances, right? But then United went two one up, um, and what was Wamba Saka doing, man? Mm. We to give away that. Stand up, listen, man. we're still top of the league yeah, right we now. Are. What it means is the league is in our hands. If we Absolutely. win all of our games. I think we'll win the league, but yep. it's so not as easy as that as we know. We got, yeah. As you said, seven, seven games finals. to go, everybody. Maybe we, do, more. we do have the toughest running when you look at it. You know what I mean? City, I think now have got the easiest running. Yeah. Right? Liverpool's next. And then I think we've got the hardest running. We've still got to go away to Tottenham. We've still got to go away to Man United. Chelsea we've still got to play Chelsea at home. Villa this Villa. week. Next, Villa this yeah. week. Wolves so we've away, still yeah. got, but this team is capable Absolutely. Exactly. And that, that's really it. are. And now it's in there. It's back in their hands. Yep. Can we Did you do see it? what Klopp said? We deserve it. After yeah, the game. I saw, I saw what he said. Yeah, he said that if, if he said that basically if like Man United play like that against Arsenal, they'll lose. Yeah, but why is he Because he, he, he knows that they should really have won that game. Yeah, but he's yeah. saying that, Robbie. But why is he... Ch- that's what I mean. Even Guardiola. I don't know why Klopp's... It's simply because there's three of us in the title yeah. race, so they are going to talk not, about... No, but what I'm saying, Robbie, is I don't hear Mikel speaking about anybody no, but else I think it's a, I think it's a good us. thing. Yeah. I think it's a good thing that they speaking in on us because that means we're like Yardi says that yeah. they know we're serious yeah, like, well, yeah. that's fine. You know, that we're is serious. another very serious <laughs> thing coming very up very good serious. and that is tomorrow right tomorrow yes. Tuesday Arsenal versus Bayern Munich mm. return of Harry Kane <laughs> quarterfinals of the Champions and League Dyer. a chance to get into the semi-final first yes. leg at home there's yes, going to be yeah. no Bayern fans because yes. their fans have been banned from this game because mm. of um Incidents that they had with Lazio fans right, over, yeah, there, yeah. over their two-legged previous game. Yeah, another massive game for Arsenal. Every game is massive. Harry Kane factor. We know that in the past he always scores against us when he was at Tottenham. Mm. He's been scoring yeah. goals, goals for fun in the Bundesliga. But Bayern themselves. Not in a great place at the moment. They lost again at the yeah. weekend. Yeah. They're winning two nil. Yeah, and lost to a team that you know recently promoted. Yeah, I mean, we got Xhaka. This is yeah, a chance. Up. This is a ch- forget about Xhaka. We got to do our business. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think Arsenal really have to win this first yeah, leg. Absolutely. Yeah. Because despite what whatever's going on in their league, it's the Champions League. Yeah, it's, it's different. different. It's different. Yeah. We know that. And we only have to look at Porto. Mm-hmm. I remember we was going into that game. They were on the greatest of form in their league. Mm. They 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 were about third. They were about third. I think they picked up since then, but they were about mm. third in yeah. their league. Mm. They gave us. And we made. Tough, we, it was a difficult game. game. And it, it could was, be more right? difficult. And this game could be more. The difficult. second leg of this game is going to be away. Yeah. yeah. So that game tomorrow is absolutely massive. Yes. We have. Can to, we, we have, do it? We have. Yes, I think we can. Um, we have to make the the advantage of home being at home first count. Mm. You know, I mean, no, they have no fans there, so we need this stadium rocking tomorrow. Like, um, I really, I really confident going into this. I am. I don't feel like Bayern are as strong as they normally, but like we said, still got great players. They have still got, got, got Harry Kane. They Musiala. got world class players that can change world-class games. Players. You get me? And we know that. Kimmich. We have to. You know the job that they have to. Arsenal know this. We, the, we, but what we fans know, we need is we need to get a victory tomorrow. You understand? A comfortable one. Two Hopefully. nil, maybe. At least two goals advantage is would be ideal tomorrow. That would be the ideal situation. Mm. And then when we go to um, their ground, we just do the city job on them. We just do a city job and yeah. we, you know what I mean? Hey, you say that though. You say that, but we haven't been great on the roads um, in the Champions League this season. Yeah, we but, haven't. We've been. Mm. You could argue that. Yeah. You know what I mean? That, that quite poor really. Yeah. On the road, it's vital we win this first game, isn't it, Tom? Yeah. Yeah, it, it is vital. And listen. I think so. I think so. But one thing I will say is that the way the team is going on, there won't be no complacency. And like you're saying, Robbie, I hate what you're saying, Yardi. I, I agree. There's going to be, we still have to be wary of Bayern. Because mm-hmm. like you said, whatever they're doing in the league, that is still, like you said, 
a world class team full of world class players, and they're going to be a and massive, they've got European pedigree. They've exactly. won the Champions League. Exactly, they're in it every exactly. year. Exactly, they know what it takes. We haven't exactly. been in it for a long time, and I we think that experience showed in the last round against Porto. Yeah, it did, it did. But we must not take our eye off the ball. We have to keep on doing. We basically, it's going to be difficult, but we have to turn our league form into the Champions League form and do exactly what we've been doing and not would take you, would you Would you make any changes from the team that played on Saturday? Well, I, um, Ooh, prob- I, 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 th- I think um, it's a good question, Robbie. You're right, Yardi. I think um, Mikel will, because I, I think Gabriel well, M1 What would you do? What would you probably do? Gabriel M1 for Leo. That probably would be the only change. I but don't Leo know. Didn't start. Oh, maybe, so, no, Trussard Leo didn't start. start Trussard didn't start. Oh, no, he didn't. Sorry, sorry. It was sorry. Jesse. Sorry. Was Gabriel Abbott. J. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry. My bad. So, yeah, um, it's Gabriel M1 for Gabriel J. Because I think Gabriel M1 will start because of his pace. And I'm so not. Martin Ely instead of Jesus. Yes, alongside right. Bukai. Do, 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 do you think Party will come in? Well, I'm I asking you, you would, would you make any changes? I don't know. <sighs> I think. The only the only change probably it's a bit risky, but party I feel like was rested on the weekend for this game. That's what I feel. I feel like he will come in. I feel it's he really? yeah, I feel, so? yeah, I feel like him and Rice will start. With all I, I would make a couple of changes. Yeah. I'll bring in Tommy Asso. Tommy Asso. Yeah, 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 because well, we've yeah. got to be wary of Harry Kane, we've yeah. got to be wary of Musiala. Yes. Right, their attacking threats are real. They're yeah. good. They're good in attack still. Yeah. Um, got to be wary of the pace of like Jonathan Davies coming. Yeah. Down, I don't think Havertz starts. Wing, right. Mm. Havertz has to. start. I don't think he starts. Oh, Why? Well, no, start. Who would start instead of? I don't. I don't. I, I, so think, I, I think he's going to play Jesus up front. I'm not saying I, that's what I would like. No, I, would like. I, I, I think I, he's going with Jesus Havertz up front. Havertz definitely start this. I game. think Kai will start. Especially being a German player as well. Exactly. That's another good point. I think Havertz 100% starts. His experience will be vital. I think Partey might come in. Really? For Jesus. Right, and then I think up front, Gabriel M1. Up front, maybe Martin. I think he might stick with Jesus. Yeah. The only thing is with Jesus, so. I know they've been managing that knee, mm. right? So that might be the only thing where they might say, right, let's let's leave out Jesus and bring in yeah. Martinelli. Yeah. But Havertz, one hundred percent starts this game I think he unless he's injured. Yeah. Obviously, so does Saka. Yeah. Um, and then I think it's uh, I think it's I think if Jesus is fit. He might stay with Jesus. Mm. If Martinelli comes well. in, great. If Trossard comes in, great. Oh, yeah. It's just great that we've got everybody's hey, fit now. Yeah, yeah. So yeah we've we, we got a lot of people to choose from apart from obviously Timber. But Uren, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. think what we've got to do is we've, we sure, we've got to make sure we're solid. We've got yeah, to make sure. That's why, I bring in, that's why I bring in Tommy Asu. Takero, yeah. yeah, on, yeah. On, on, that's um, a good shot. On that yeah. left hand side. But let's yeah. wait and see. Let's get into your Boohoo Man of the Week. Boohoo Man of the Week. Um, hey Manchester United, give you a, give you a shout out. Big up. Big up. If they would have won the game, they would have got it. You would have got like, it. You'd, yeah, you would have got it. If you won the game, Saka, yeah, if you won, Yo, bro. Yeah, if you won the game, you'd have got Boohoo of the Week. But, but I still give you a shout out because I knew you were going to do it. I called it. I said 2-2, <laughs> two, two, you were going to do it. Mm. Um, but Kai Havertz, have to give Kai. it to him, man. I, um, well done, you know, like you said earlier, a lot of people doubted him, you know what I mean? Um, I think me and you. Uh, I, I doubted him. Me and I you, doubted him. I, well, I was like, yeah, and I was we're like, too sure. I'm not sure. Yeah, mm. but you know what? He, he's he's proven that. Hey, yeah. oh, he's, proven he's been the real deal. He's, he's already <coughs> outdone his 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 um, best season at yeah. Chelsea. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's scoring goals since the season. Assistant. I think since scores important goals. Goals. As well. That's it. You're right. That was goals. the second Massive. goal. That second goal yeah. was very was very vital. Because Brighton get, get back and into the game. And their assist as well. Their assist. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the assist was Trussard incredible. Goal. Trussard goal. Big up. And big up Trussard as well. Like you know Yo, what? Yes. He's celebrating. Not over celebrating. He didn't over celebrate. But he's celebrating. And you know what? Do it because they were booing you. For no reason booing the man. Celebrate. That's what I'm saying. If I'm an ex-footballer and I come to the club and you're booing me as soon as I come on, I'm going to celebrate when I score. Big up to the Arsenal fans who gave Danny Welbeck a big... Oh, yeah, fantastic. Of course. When he came, when he came off, by the way. Yeah. All right, um, so that's and your booing man it. of the week. Who's your idiot of the week? James Madison. Liverpool, if you like. Emma Hayes. 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 It's, Emma Hayes. It's the Premier, Emma Hayes. It's the Barclays Emma Premier Hayes. League. The men's Premier League. Oh, oh, it's not, it's not, it's not the male aggression Premier League. No. Okay. Yo. <laughs> you don't let nothing go. <laughs> not enough like this one. <laughs> Listen, uh, I, I would, have, I would have give it to Liverpool idiot of the week. I would have get you no, know, no. you draw the game. You did draw the game. They so did you draw. Know, cool. But Chelsea, 
The, what I'm calling them the blue billion baller <coughs> jobs. Oh, who said yeah. that? The Gary blue billion billion that. pound mm. baller jobs. You get it, man. How? How do you like throw, just throw it away? After that game you had against Man United where you came back like that, superstars getting three goals in, in two goals in the, the last time, couple yeah. minutes of the yeah. game. And then you go to Sheffield and do that? You're Idiot of the week. You'll probably be idiot of the season now, I'll be honest. Well, that's, no, that's Emma. That's Emma Hayes. That's Emma All right, Hayes. let's get into um, question time. <laughs> right, because we've got, as usual, you guys, you, you drop your questions in um, to ask Ty. <laughs> and I've got questions um, for you two afterwards. This one comes from NBA uh, PO8. He says, uh, you, shout NBA out to Ty. PO8. I sense a bit of bullying from Robbie and Yardy, he says. <laughs> Are we bully- we're not bullying him. No. <laughs> no, no, no. It's not, there's, there's no bullying here. It's, a, it's, just, it's just banter, but thank you, thank you. It's just All right. banter, it's just banter. Really? Um, Tyron Williams 4621 says, thank you, you, Williams, he goes, yo guys, did Ty, you guys did Ty a disservice during the um, Emma Hayes rant. <laughs> He's absolutely bang on. She Thank did you. a bad action, uh, which you. would have gotten a male manager sacked. Absolutely. Had it have been the other way around. Absolutely. And then she tries to get someone um, on side by claiming male aggression. Absolutely. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, yeah. Unbelievable. He's backing you up. Is this question, Ty? Is this question? Ty, is it is it no. Check these accounts if they're real accounts. Yeah, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie. They're all big and tie up this week. Ty, 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 made, Ty made these accounts. Ty no, went no, home. They're all big and Ty went home and big. made all these accounts and decided, you know what? Let me drop some comments for you guys. You sit at home like no, this. I have got no time to do that. Mr. Kaplan, Kaplan says, um, thank you, Mr. Kaplan. Question Kaplan. for Uncle Ty. Yeah, well, Honestly, don't... people don't seem Uncle. to <laughs> understand how disrespectful <laughs> it is to slander people's names. Absolutely. Uncle Ty has every right not to answer any question when they mispronounce his name <laughs> thank you or do it out of banter thank you that's very just much. not cool thank you you very want much. an answer to your question be respectful i call him uncle because according to our culture he's earned that right and cool. i respect him a lot thank you thank you now my thank question you. for uncle ty if nigeria or england yeah. had the chance to lift the world cup yes who would you root for and why <laughs> well i definitely would root for nigeria and why because even though I'm English, I'm proud to be English, my heritage is Nigerian. So you wouldn't want to suck us? No, I would love because nice. to live the World Cup with Nigeria. So, <laughs> bro, I'd have, I'd, I'd have to pick um, Nigeria, but any, any, anyone would be nice, but it definitely would be Nigeria. Thank you very much, thank you. Okay, um, <laughs> Sam Opio 3175 says, you, Robbie Sam. doesn't deserve this show. What? Robbie must retire. He's now turned into a dictator. <laughs> I've been getting a lot of stick, what? man. They said, that I've, said I've been giving you stick. Yeah, that, been, that me and Yardi have been bullying you. Listen, Sam, listen, you're lucky. If, if I was Robbie, I'm going to read that out. So you're very lucky, Sam. <laughs> but then, you know, they're all we... on your side this week. Yeah, thank you. But before we go, I would have to say that I'm glad about that. I just wanted to say, because you two were saying, I've got questions for both of you. It's the it's fun, man. It's going to be the new dance. The fun, the fun dance. I've got questions for both of you. Robbie, you said, and, and the thing is, Robbie, listen, you're too clever for me, so I, I, can, never, I can never catch you out. Maybe, maybe football terms, that's about it. You were saying that Emma's a brilliant manager, yeah? That's what you said. Hey, she is. If she's a brilliant manager, why was she so hypocritical? And if she's, by saying that, and if she's a brilliant manager, why didn't she, if she's so against male aggression, why didn't she, when her own manager, Jose Mourinho, no, swore on, in the physical space, why didn't she talk about a male question then? I never heard her say that. The hypocrite. Because she, she wasn't at Chelsea then. She was at Chelsea then. Listen. She was at Chelsea the then. The thing is about it, right? We know the great managers can be very spiteful. No, but you can't be that great oh, oh, if you're on, on, like that. Using male aggression. That's really, really Listen, low. Even the for great her. managers... When they lose, they're really terrible upset. losers. But they're they very lose? spiky. But did, Fergie was a bad loser. But did you hear? Wenger was a bad loser. But yeah. Right? Um, um, Klopp Klopp is a horrible loser. But have you ever heard Klopp, them? you saw him yesterday. Yeah. He's, he's not, yeah, Robbie, I mean, they, I even Arteta is not a good loser. And that, that is that, the Robbie. trait of a winner. No, no, but it's not a winner. You can't be a winner if you use male. You know how low that is? You remember, yeah, what's, what, was that, what was that thing? Well, what was it that happened, Ty, what was that? Look, it's about a week and a half ago. No. And we also, won the cup. Yeah, we did. And I also, think Jonas has forgotten about that no, now. No, 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 because Jonas is very... Why are you still holding on to it? Because, weeks because... Two weeks ago. No, because, you know why, Yardi and Robbie? Because the FA now have said there's no further action. That, to me, is disgraceful. What does that say to young up and girls coming up? 
You can be a manager and as soon as you lose now, you can shove a man and then claim male aggression. That is disgusting and disgraceful and a very, very bad example for young girls growing up, female footballers. If you see a top manager like that, act like that and have no repercussions, it's disgraceful. Now, I don't want this to FA because the FA, I think, do a good job in football and women's football. But I think FA have got it very, very, very wrong. Because now, what happens now? When the next time, if it happens, what happens now? What happens if they can't charge them? If, okay, okay, what's you the know, question you've got for Yardi? Oh, and Yardi, <laughs> you were saying about, you was about, oh, thank you. You were saying about, about 10 minutes feed. for that rant, innit? <laughs> <laughs> this is great, this is great. Right. You, <laughs> you, well done, see, you see, I can't, Robbie even remembers. Oh, yeah. well, Yardi, you said about, um, I've got feelings, for Emma, I, obviously in football terms. What do you mean by that? Because I, I don't understand what, what you're saying. What kind of questions are these? No, because you said to me that <laughs> I'm carrying feelings. Why did you say that? <laughs> Yo, I don't know, bro. You said you used to talk you to her, know. right? I used to, I used to talk to her, yes. Yeah, I used so to give, it, it sounds like you have a bitter. You know, no, one of them. that's what it no, is. No, 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 it sounds like the bitter ex situation. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you see, you know when you have an ex and then yeah. they move on yeah. and you might see them doing better now yeah. and they might be with somebody else yeah. and you're thinking that should be yeah. me. So you have that, yeah. that bitterness inside, <laughs> and, yeah. and that's what I mean by your carrying feelings. So just let what? it go. If, oh, no, if, no, no, if, no. If being on the show, go, I, no, but I think he's letting you go. I think this is Frozen. the opportunity. No, 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 so, no, 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 so look at the camera. No, 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 Which no, camera? No, no, let, no, let me answer. No, 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 that low, that low. After you, she stooped lower. No, no, have you ever, have you ever heard me? Yeah, but no, but it's not, it's, this is, this Yeah, but, but no, but yeah, no, but you it's know. Football. We're only talking about football. We're not, we're not talking about anything else. We're just talking in the football. I hope not. I, I, I don't I mean, know. Like, listen, bro, anyway, we're only talking. You see, see they're going to say again, you look at Robbie and Yardi. You're a troublemaker. We're not, we're not. We're not bullying now, we're just talking. You, you're, you're, tr you're troublemakers. What I'm saying, like, we we'll, Let it go, no, man. No. We won the trophy. We did. Jonas is not talking about it. Black Stinnis is not talking about it. Ruben Moyes not talking about it. Beth Mee's not talking about it. About Alessia, it, right? Alessia, Williamson's not talking um, about it. M Alessia Russo's Eminem, not talking Eminem, about it. Why are you Caleb, talking about it? Because let it go. We you won the trophy. You know, and it's very good because the thing is, Robbie, oh. it should not be forgotten because that is disgusting. That means then that look in if, the camera and tell them. I don't have to, they, they, they know that is disgusting. Yeah, they know. And you're going on for about ten that's minutes. That's disgusting. Right, we're going to wrap the show up now. Yadi, sorry, yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah. Sorry. All right, yeah. She's the one. Yadi, she's the one that's bitter. And I, I shall I tell you why she's bitter. I'll tell you why she's bitter because she should have got the job after Vic. We understand that. But she should let it go. She's very, very yeah, bitter. Yeah, but she, yeah, listen, you've got to say she's done very, very well. She's, she showed she's, it by she's, saying she's, about she's male aggression. She's won so many titles. She's she didn't win so against us. Trophies. She's still in the Champions League. <laughs> still, still now. Still favourites to win the title this year. And she's no, going that's on. That's my city. And she's going on to manage um, the US. Well, they, they can have her. And they can have her. And I've, said it, I've said it already. Help right? Me. To me, I feel. <laughs> yeah. I feel, okay. right, from what I've seen from her as a yeah. manager, yeah. right, I feel she's good enough to manage a men's team. She'd have the respect of the men. She, yeah. she, and she tactically, she's very good. And she she's good an us. excellent well, manager. And I would like to see her, you know, putting aside all whatever incidents happen, I would no. like to see Emma Hayes one day managing a men's team in the Premier League. She's Chelsea, good enough. Could when I see some, when I see some right of the managers that are, have been managing teams Chelsea. in the Premier League, mm. you cannot tell me that she's not as good as them. And I would love to see her when, you know, anytime that USA post finish, I want to see a team brave enough to bring her in as a manager. Who is going to be? She's good. Ser um, Serena Wiegmann as well. The, the yeah, England Serena, manager. Yeah, She's another one who's yeah. yeah. good enough to manage a yeah. men's team. We have, we have men managing a women's team. Yes, We've got we Jonas do. managing Jonas, Arsenal. Yes, yes. Why can't we, we have it Jonas. the other way around? It's I'd true. love to see that. That's the next big step for me. It's and true. I think Emma Hayes right at the front of the queue. Oh, wow. You know, if you're considering a, um, a woman to manage your... Why can't... Um, I, I was chatting to a friend of mine the other day. Like, yeah, but a woman to... I'll go, yeah, a woman run the country. Margaret <laughs> Thatcher used to be the, the leader. Mm. You had a recently... What was her name? The, she didn't last very long. But um, uh, uh, she, she, was, uh, she was managing oh, the country. You've got, you, 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 oh, you, the, I can't remember. You had the queen. 
right? It was, yeah. <laughs> you know, you, you've, you've got various women managing multinational companies. Yeah. Why can't a woman manage a football team? Yeah. Absolutely ridiculous. So I was something I would love to see happen yeah. in the future. Anyway, we've reached Good the end of the show yeah, today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, big up to Boohoo Man. Don't yeah, forget, Boohoo, man. 10% off, right? All you've got to do is scan the QR code or use the code AFTV10. Get 10% off of all Boohoo Man wear. Massive game. They're all massive games. But massive, massive game games, tomorrow yep. against Bayern Munich. Um, hopefully the Arsenal can get the win. And of course, at the hopefully. weekend, we've got Villa. Yeah. So the games just come thick and fast. They're all big. They're all difficult. But as I heard Roy Keane say yesterday, which is mm. very true, mm. he goes, at this stage of the season, every game's tough. And you know what? If you're going to win a league, you it's difficult. Time. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So don't look for easy games. It's yeah. difficult. Yeah. We've got difficult games. Yep. We embrace them. Yeah, and let's try and win them. Yardi, thank you very Big much. Up, man. Up. Thank you very much to you, Thank, Ty. You, much, thank you very much to everybody out there. And we'll see you again next week, hopefully talking about a couple of great wins. Peace. Good luck to all our teams. Emma Hayes, you are a disgrace. <laughs>